the scale tool. You can get that in your main toolbar right here. Or you can also go to your construction toolbar and get it there also. You got a couple different methods inside here. You got active scale and you got three points. So we'll go over both of those situations. Active scale, you got your X and Y scale depending on what you want it. We'll go ahead and scale it down by a factor of 0.5. You do have the toggle here that you can uncheck if you want this the X scale and the Y scale to be different. We'll just go ahead and leave them checked on. You have another option here that says about element center, which we'll come back to. And then you also you have copies if you want to make a copy of it. So we'll identify, we'll just make a copy just to kind of show how this works. We identify the, the item that we want to scale. And I'll left click on this square here for the example. And now you'll notice that it's going to prompt you to enter the origin point where you want to scale it about. And you'll see here as we kind of move around, we can define where we want to kind of pin it down to. It doesn't have to be on the box. It could be outside if we really wanted to. But once we have it scaled down, left click to drop it off. It's going to want to scale it down again. But if you're finished with it, of course, right click to reset it, and then you're finished. And since we made a copy of it, the original stays out there. I'll do an undo. Now you do have the option here that says about element center. And for this example, I'm going to scale it up. But this about element center, what that will like do is actually, it knows the center of that particular item and keeps it at that center position. So if I identify my square again, you'll notice that instead of me freely trying to locate you know, where my origin point needs to be at, it pins it to the center of that box or that shape or that circle or whatever item that you're trying to scale to the center of it. Since we're scaling it by a factor of two, we'll left click to drop it off, right click to reset it, and now we scale that particular shape up by a factor of two. It's kind of the same way with these trees over here. Let's say we need to scale them up by a factor of two. If I use my element selection tool, which you can get that here or in your construction tools here, which is the top one, and I come in here and I'm just going to use my add mode, my methods at the block, and I'll just get a little bit above it, left click once, drag it across, and then I'll left click again and kind of make a selection set of those items inside here. Now I can come in and go back to my scale tool and if I need to scale them up by a factor of two I can come in here and put in my scale factor and let's change that. Let's go to 1.5 And if I uncheck these, you'll notice that it's going to scale it up by a factor of 1.5, but not only is it scaling up that particular item, it's scaling the position of it also, basically making it 1.5 more for the distance in between your um, cells that are out there or your items that you have selected. So that distance is off now. But if we want to keep them in their correct position on where maybe they were surveyed at or whatever, we can come in here and check mark this box that says about element center, and it will keep them at the center of where those items are originally placed at. So now if we're ready to drop it off, we'll left click to place it, right click to reset it, and we're finished. Now keep in mind that we still have these items selected. So if we start using an, another tool out there, maybe our move tool or our copy tool or even our delete tool, since these items are selected, it's going to do it to those items. So if we're finished with that operation and we, we don't want to worry about these particular items anymore, we need to make sure we clear out our selection set, which if we go back to our element selection tool, which is loaded, 
you can click on this little button right here that says clear and it will clear out that selection set and you'll notice right here also there's no item selected let's go back to our skill tool and I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that box you also have your method it probably doesn't get used very often but we'll show it show you it just in case there you have a use for it is your three-point method you have the option that says proportional which will keep that shape proportional to the to its original shape you got about element center which will do just what we just showed you and then also your copies I'll just check mark the um, the copies I'll kind of show you how this works so the first thing that we'll do is we'll identify our element next thing that we need to do is identify our, our origin point where we want to scale it about and I'll just use the bottom left corner up for this example here to kind of pin it now it's going to prompt you to enter your reference point if I select this point right here it's only going to allow me to take this box and scale it in this direction and not in your or not in your y direction same thing at this point right here if I select it here it's going to allow me to kind of scale this box up but it won't allow me to go out but if I grab it from this point right here it allow me to scale it in my X and also my Y direction so I'll just use this one as the example here first snap this end point of this particular block and you'll notice that it's going to allow it to scale it in this factor in your X direction but if you go on the Y it's not going to allow you to, to go anywhere so that's what that does if I did it a little bit differently I'll just go ahead and do an undo I'll identify my element use this as my my pivot point grab it at the top here I'll just go ahead and uncheck the copies you'll notice now that it's going to scale it in my Y direction but in my X it's not allowing me to do anything do an undo. Now if I come back in here and I select it again, select the pivot point, but I grab it by the other corner at the top here, you'll notice that it'll allow me to scale it in the X direction and also the Y direction. So it depends on what situation that you have, depending on how you want to scale it. And drop it off. Do an undo. You do also have the option that says proportional. And if you do have proportional checked on, we can identify the element that we want to scale grab it from pin it down to where we're, our pivot point should be at now it's going to say inner reference point where you want to scale it for your reference point left click drop it off and now you'll notice that it will scale in the x and y direction but it's going to keep that shape proportional to its original size so many little different methods inside your scale tool depend on how you want to scale an item up or scale it down.